I know. I keep pestering you guys. God, when will I go away? Well, never. So, let me bring you over. See that? That's a spoon in my oven door. There's a reason it's there. It's because I am venting. I know you can't see. Let me... Let me sneak you in a little bit color was developing on the loaves. As soon as you start to get some color, vent. Vent in your home oven by just sticking a big old spoon in the side of it. Yes, I know I need to. So we have about five more minutes of bake time left. However, we're not just going to say, okay, 20 minutes is up. You know, let's take them out. We want color. Color equals flavor. Um, don't be afraid of it. Those are pretty light for baguettes right now. And because of how close they are in my oven and because I don't have like a steam injected oven um, with really good air circulation, the sides in between are a little pale. So we're going to let it go a little bit longer than 20 minutes. It was 20 to 24. So we're at 16 minutes right now. So it's still got time. It's still got, you know, I could give it another 10 minutes and they'd be flipping gorgeous. But make sure that you vent. The reason you're venting is to stop any moisture from continuing to impede crust forming on the outside of your loaves. If you don't vent, if you have moisture in that oven from steaming and you don't vent, you are going to get a thick, chewy, dense crust. And nobody wants that. You want that really crisp, like you can hear it crack in your mouth crust with that really soft, tender inside. Um, so, so we're almost there. I'm really pleased with how they're turning out, even though they were a little long for my, for my um, pizza stone. Those ends popped. They were like hanging down a little bit like this. They popped right up. Really, really beautiful. Nope, you haven't worked for it, buddy. Um, what's their name? Umatkara? I don't know, they think they were going to get away with that because they have my name. Nuh uh, not on this broadcast, buddy. There's a lot of those guys out there. Gotta tell ya. They're all over the place. They're all over the place! What's that from, people? What movie is that from? Come on. We did The Emperor's New Groove the other day. It's not The Emperor's New Groove. Yes, Creepers, right? So, so we've got about, I've got three minutes left here, plus I'm going to add another five, so I've got eight more minutes. So if you guys have questions, hit me with them right now while I'm sitting here relaxing, waiting for color to happen to my beautiful baguettes. If you have questions about any of the process that we've done so far, here, let me make you stop jiggling around. Let me put you up on a, I think I'm a bobber. Maybe. Here we go. Um, any questions, guys, at all? Questions, comments, ideas? So I'm definitely doing this again tonight. I'm making garlic butter to go with them as a six-year-old wants one to be garlic bread. Good, smart six-year-old. Absolutely. Um, I make garlic bread by slicing them in half and putting... I use olive oil to bake them in the oven but I cover them in olive oil with a pastry brush and then I take um, some, I don't use fresh garlic because it's just a pain in my rear end to chop, but I get some minced garlic from the grocery store and it's in its own garlic juices, which is really awesome because it's beautiful concentrated flavor ready to go for you. And so I take that and with the back of a smooth spoon, I kind of smush it along the bread and then I pop it in the oven and toast it. There are weird noises happening outside my door. If something happens to me, you guys will know that at 23 seconds left on the bake, at bake you can tell the police that's when it happened to her. <laughs> so, um, any questions? Any at all? Any, any, any? No? Okay. I'm going to let you go. I've got five more minutes on this. And I'm going to pull them out of the oven. I am not going to be able to have you watch me pull them out of the oven because, just because, um, it's the boob troll run here. I'll, it, it just went off, but I'll show you exactly where it is at right now. And, um, 
and see what we're going to do with it. So here. Look at those beautiful baguettes. They are taking on some gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm actually going to... Oh, shut up, timer. I hate that timer. Oh my goodness. Mostly because I ignore it too often. So what I'm going to do, this baguette is looking beautiful. I'm going to pull the leaves apart just a little bit. I have no more nerves left in the ends of my fingers from all the baking I do. So close this, put our, uh, our little spoon back in the side. Oh, almost. Sorry. There we go. I'm going to let it go for another five minutes. And then we shall be done. Okay, I will be back and we will have bread. Okay? So my baguettes are out of the oven. They have some beautiful color. And I want to show you real quick, you see how these scores look very superficial? They needed to be deeper. We could have gone deeper with the razor in these and add a little bit more of an angle. But I gotta tell you, for being home-baked baguettes, this is going to be delicious. Um, so once these are a little bit cooler, actually once they've cooled completely, and you should be cooling them elevated on a rack. You should allow them to have full air circulation all the way around them. You don't want any, um, you don't want any areas where it's touching anything solid because you're going to get um, condensation and it's going to get soggy. So crisp outside. Oh, hear that? Oh yeah, that's crisp. That's going to be gorgeous. Um, so once these have cooled, I will take one and I will slice it lengthwise so that we can check out what uh, one of my uh, chefs used to call the inside life. He was one of our German chefs. But checking out the inside life of your bread, um, and that only truly happens by cutting it this way, not taking a slice, but actually cutting the top off, um, is a way to see what your crumb structure did and to see if you know you developed your gluten and allowed for fermentation to happen properly. So it's, it's an important step. Um, even if you just cut off you know, one end and then slice that, that'll be good enough. Um, but we will do that as soon as these cool a little bit. And I am actually going to redo this tonight and I'm going to see how I can improve upon the home process based on only the things that I have in my kitchen. Um, I'm used to having these really awesome, all these professional tools to do this and you know, dough loaders and boards and couches and a steam injecting oven. So I am going to see, am I making these into pizza for dinner tonight? Darn straight. I am woman. Um, I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some pizza sauce. I have tons of mozzarella cause Hey, we're Italian. So, um, so I'm going to do this again tonight and see what I can improve upon in the home kitchen for you guys. So, but I encourage you totally to use your own devices right now and to go and make some baguettes. These look so delicious. I may not be able to wait, but all right, guys, happy baguetting. And, uh, we'll check back in after these have cooled and I'll cut one of them open. Alrighty. Can these be made gluten-free? I believe in that book, there is a recipe for gluten-free. The book that I, um, here, the book that I went over a while ago here. If you go to this slash shop, you'll be able to see all the books I use. And there is a gluten-free book in there. And it'll give you the um, the proper flour to equivalent, equivalent, wow, Kara, to, for the equivalent of bread flour, but gluten-free. There are different strengths of flours, and bread flour is one of the toughest there is. So using a general gluten-free bread or flour isn't necessarily going to give you what you need. So check out the books I have listed here, including the gluten-free one. And, uh, that'll be a, that'll be probably your best bet. All right, guys. See you again soon. I'm going to cut it open guys. See what we got in here.
trying to orient myself so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, that crust. Oh, the smell is heavenly. Moment of truth. I'm going to peek. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I am pretty happy with that. I think it could be better. I think I know where I went wrong, but not bad at all. Some nice big crumbs or holes, excuse me. Beautiful color. Nice and crunchy and crispy. And of course, since I baked it, I get the first bite and I always, 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 always get the end. Always. Mmm. Oh guys, this is so good. This is really so good. Look how nice and soft and tender that is inside. And chewy. But totally crispy. On the outside. What's really cool, after you take these out of the oven, and you have them sitting on your cooling rack, you can actually hear, if you listen really closely as they're cooling, you can hear them crack as they as they kind of shrink just ever so slightly from the cooling process. You can hear them crackle, the crust, and oh. Guys, this is so yummy. Oh my goodness. Upside down again. I should send some your way. Mm -hmm. Or I should just eat it all. I might eat it all. Guys, this turned out really good. I'm really, I'm pleased with that. I think it's just going to be my dinner. I think I might just eat just the bread, too. Uh, there's nothing like a freshly home-baked loaf of bread. Truly, there isn't. So. so that's what we have. I'm going to do this again tonight, just by myself. And I'm going to see what tips and tricks I can provide you guys with from a home kitchen using just what you might find. I don't have professional bread baker tools here. Not like my caking. So, I'm going to see what I can improve upon for you. And I'm going to eat more bread. So, go to the group. I will post pictures of this stuff in the group um, on Facebook. Let me, uh, let me show you guys that. And if you are baking, at any point in time you're doing this, following these, please, please, please load your pictures into that thread. I would really love to see them here. This is the group. Take a screenshot so you can remember called Foodie Bedtime Stories Periscope Group. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go eat bread. You guys are going to go make bread. And then the world is just going to be right. Right? Okay. This, um, because I've been periscoping all day long, I'm not doing my normal 10 p.m. periscope tonight. Uh, I think you guys have had plenty of me, and I'm pretty certain my family is no longer happy about me talking at my phone, as they call it. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, though. Sound good? Happy baking.